So one thing you may not know about me is that I'm pretty good at guessing how a story might end. Maybe it's because I've read a lot. Maybe it's because I hope to be a writer one day. But it just happens that I can many times predict what's to come. With Catherine Marsh's Medusa, The Myth of Monsters, I was always on the edge of my seat, actively trying to figure out where the story would go. And I couldn't. There were just so many plot twists, exciting moments, and endless adventures in Medusa. Here's a sneak peek into the story. Ava loves Greek mythology. The gods and goddesses fascinate her. And when her class starts a mythology unit where students can choose a god to study, she is dying to research Athena, her favorite. But then, a boy named Owen steals it from her. She tries not to be overly controlling or obsess over it. That's how she lost her friends from elementary school. But she can't stop herself. A stone-cold glare comes from her eyes and freezes Owen, stopping him in his tracks. Ava doesn't know how it happened, and yes, you've got to keep Stone Cold in mind for later. It's a bit of a pun. That same night, Ava's mom, Melanie, receives a call from the Academia, a boarding school in Venice specializing in the Greek mythologies of old. Ava and her brother Jax will be spending time there. A bit sudden, but exciting too. Venice, Italy, a perfect place. The Academia, though, feels a bit off from the beginning. As you begin this quest, Ava makes new friends, Fia, Layla, and Arnold. And they all seem to agree. Something fishy is going on. And that's when the truth comes out. They take a DNA test, and they see European, maybe some blood from Greece. But there are varying percentages depending on each person. And all these percentages that I'm talking about, they say unknown. At first, Ava and the rest assume it's the blood of the gods after learning about the school's devotion to the gods. This would make them demigods like Perseus or Hercules of old. But plot twist! They're all related to monsters. Medusa, wind spirits, the chimera, you name it. The academia isn't a school for the gifted at all. It's a rehabilitation center. Little by little, however, through this adventure, we see the resilience and growing powers of our protagonists. They know their truths. But do they really? Read Medusa, the myth of monsters by the amazing Catherine Marsh to find out. I've grown up fascinated by the wonders and mysteries of the awe-inspiring Greek gods, and I've read a lot, but never before reading Medusa the Myth of Monsters had I read about the stories behind the powerful monsters. What I found incredibly fun and entertaining from Catherine's Medusa is that not everything is as it seems in the world of monsters and gods. That's what I love about mythology, there's always, always more to the story. And hopefully this means Catherine has more Greek myths to write about, because Medusa the Myth of Monsters has proven without a shadow of a doubt that Catherine Marsh has her own great power. The power of writing highly engaging, entertaining, and interesting reads. I hope with all of my heart that more books by Catherine Marsh arrive. Because this right here is a 10 out of 10. One of my new favorite mythological stories.